Hola! Coming to you live from Costa Rica. We are at Ritmia. This has been such an incredible, miraculous trip. So many miracles have been happening here. Jerry, who's created this resort in this space, has been just absolutely phenomenal. Thanks, Jerry. Thank you so much, Jerry. We love you. Literally, the stats, ching, 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 for miracles have gone up. It's been... It yeah, they don't, they don't call this the Miracle Week for nothing. Um, you know, for those that are new to ayahuasca or trying to understand what it is, it really is a powerful um, plant medicine utilized to um, really connect you back in with nature, the flow of nature, the, the, the flow of your natural soul, who you are, and what you're meant to do in this lifetime and how to operate from a place that's from a soul connection so not from your ego not from just these desires or society or these misbeliefs or these limiting beliefs that people tell us we have to do we have to get more money we have to get more cars we have to have more women more houses more whatever it is and when you can really connect to your soul and really have that emergence with your soul you can operate from a place of humility of grace of service in gratitude and as Lane mentioned it's we're connected to everything so it really allows us to peel back the layers of the onion of ourself and really go into this deep place of self discovery and ultimately what we both experienced here is a miracle which is connection to divinity we had emergence back into our own individual souls that's allowing us to step forward in life with our mission being of service to humanity to everyone that we encounter and to nature and that itself is such a gift to know that we are God, that we are deities, that we are literally these divine beings here. And not only know that from an intellectual aspect or believe that, but like we talked about, actually experiencing that in our being. So we're merged with our soul. Yeah. And so much of uh, so much of what I've experienced here also is the 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 old story that I have been living and telling myself. Um, and having to come here work with one of the best shamans I would say in the world and really have this you know it's this understanding that I always knew that, that was always within me finding who I truly am um, was such an amazing I and Jerry actually mentioned that I was one of the um, the, uh, the, the quickest to you actually come like to this this miracle state it was actually in the, the second night where I was just like whoa uh, Got it all figured out. It was such a beautiful experience, and um, I'm being guided to come back here and do some work and help people and be of service. And okay, so it's a big, huge move for me. And um, but I'm ready, and I'm really ready to just you know step into this new space and this new understanding of who I am and uh, what my gifts are and what I'm here to do, uh, and to share these gifts and to share this new understanding and to help people on their journeys. Yeah, and with me, it was much longer. I mean, my journey I went through took me four attempts to really reconnect with my soul. And there was a moment where I was freaking out and Jerry was just so amazing. And was like, I see, like I see all your stuff that's happening. I see all the craziness. I see all your ego. It's happening right now. And at one point I was like, I don't know if this works. Is this gonna happen? I don't think I'm gonna get it. And there was a story that I was holding on to that I always am the one that doesn't get it. I can't get it. Everyone else gets it, but I don't get it. I'm always cut short of it. I'm not gonna get my miracle. Right. And it was a really big push of Jerry being this phenomenal, phenomenal man. And as I see him as this godfather of really investing everything into me and saying, no, you are going to get this miracle yeah. and choosing to believe him. And I got it. I really, really got it and I understood it. And, and I experienced it and experienced this deep peace within myself, which I've never, never experienced before in my entire life and on this trip with the breath of life as well with the integration I was able to really take my first full breath through my entire body and really let go of stories that it's not safe to be expressed that it's not safe to have a voice that I'm not capable of sharing and, and really coming to a place where I know what my gifts are I know what I'm here to do I know that I'm here to be a voice of peace and of love and unconditional love and and change and really shedding away the old victim mentality and the mindset 
that I've been stuck in for so long with all the physical traumas and the emotional traumas that I've gone through and really truly create from a miracle mindset now the life that I truly desire yeah. and being of service and giving back to the people here at Rhythmia and coming here and bringing work to Rhythmia and being able to teach meditation classes and do women's empowerment circles and self-care practices because life truly is a ritual and that's one thing that we're really really working on is every day it's it takes practice to stay in that flow you have to right. live your life in a ritual with affirmation and connection to prayer to stay in this space like this is actually the work yeah and for those of you that are looking for that miracle and for you know there's something that you need to discover some something an old story that you're hanging on to there's so much of us that is created from the age of you know from inception to the age of four or five uh, there is a um, there's a pattern, there's a society, our families create who we think we are, who, we, who we've become. And what we do is we, uh, through this process, is you unlearn a lot of these behavioral patterns, these, these aspects of yourself that you think you need to be, uh, think the way you should show up in life, and really connects you back to who you truly are, who your soul, who you were really meant to be um, on this planet. It was such a, an amazing experience, and, and like Josie said, it, it, it's a practice. So it's one thing to have the experience, it's another thing to really, there's a, part, of, part of ayahuasca in the ceremony is one is yes, we connect back into our miracle of who we truly are. The next 50% is the integration. And I feel like that's a, a big part of my understanding and what I'm going to teach is the integration following ceremony. Because it just, you, you can't just have this one experience and then go back to your life and you know, um, go to the bar every night and go back to drink and go back to doing drugs, go back to, you know, um, these, these patterns that created who you are and, and masking the pain and the emotions that you're, that you've experienced in life. It's really stepping forward, finding a practice that works for you as far as whether it's meditation, getting into yoga, really connecting back in with your breath, connecting back in with your soul and connecting back in with your family. So the big part of this is to find love to be loved, to enjoy, have fun, fun, and have community. That's what it's all about. And if we can just simplify it into those four things, love, be loved, fun, and community, it's such a beautiful place that we can exist in. So with that, I want to say thank you, Jerry. I want to say thank you, Rhythmia. Thank you, Rhythmia. Thank you, Jerry, so much. Thank you, Lane, for being on this journey together and yeah. being here. And thank you all for watching this. And we really encourage you, if you have any questions about this or any comments about it but me and Lane would both be more than happy to speak to you about it and if this is something that you really feel called to doing or exploring please look into Rhythmia this is a really phenomenal amazing resort every single person here is so kind is so loving is so caring they really take care of you they truly 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 have your best intention at hand and at heart every single person here has just been completely phenomenal and the food here has been just Superb, top Food, notch. The classes, everything. This whole place is literally paradise. Yeah. So if you want to discover yourself and you really want to find out deeper who you are and explore that part of yourself, this is absolutely the most phenomenal place on the planet yeah. that I've experienced so far. And it, it's also uh, we should mention this is the only place in the world in the world that the government supports the plant medicine and the integration. So if you're looking for a safe place to to open up into the world of ayahuasca and the plant medicine, this is it. If you're if you're worried about the ceremonies going on all over the world, uh, from Peru, Costa Rica to your home state of wherever you're at, um, it, this is a safe place. This is supported by the government and obviously the staff, the, the faculty here, there's doctors here, and it's it's such a beautiful experience for you and safe experience for yeah. you to to really open up and again awaken to you who you truly are and um, I know this this experience is gonna stick with me um, forever um, and the beautiful thing is is it's always been within me it's been within Josie it's been within everybody that's watching this right now and this just opens up to finding who you truly are and um, anyway, I want to thank you guys for listening. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me or Josie. Yes. All right. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.